Alright guys, start off by downloading three applications. You're going to want to go ahead and get File Downloader, Microsoft Edge, and UFO.Transfer. All these applications are free, so don't worry about having to spend a single penny. Go ahead and get these three applications from the App Store. And once you guys have downloaded all three of these applications, you're going to have to do one more step before you get into modding. <clears throat> you're gonna have to go ahead and turn off your overscan border now in order to do this you're gonna go ahead and wanna hit the middle button on your Xbox one controller from here scroll to the right to your settings and go down to the settings icon right here select A on that and go down to display and sound video output and you're gonna go ahead and go over to video fidelity and overscan once you guys have done that go over to apps can out of border and turn this off completely just uncheck that box and once you guys have done that, go ahead and head on over and launch Microsoft Edge, and you're ready to start getting this mod. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Materialized or Jax Black again with another mother freaking video. And today, guys, I'm gonna be showing you how to download the Minecraft 3D item physics that was just made recently by Dacon Black Rose. Shout out to Dacon Black Rose, he's a great Minecraft YouTuber, a great mod creator, and definitely go check him out. His YouTube channel will be linked in the description, as well as both his MCPEDL account and the mod that we're going to be downloading today. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and get right into the video. If you do go to enjoy, make sure to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, as we are about to hit 5k, which is so ridiculous to me. Thank you guys so much for all the support, and I love you guys so much. Don't forget to comment down below on what mod you guys want to see next. I love you guys, and let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so what you're going to want to do to start off is head on down to the description and click on the first link you guys see. It should, it should, it should, it should say 3D item physics. Go ahead and select on that link now. Once you guys have clicked on that link, it's going to bring you to a page that looks like this. It should say 3D item physics add-on, and this mod is none other made by Dacon Black Rose. Dacon Black Rose is a really good YouTuber. His link to his the link to his channel will be linked down in the description. That was an improper sentence, but his channel link will be in the description down below. Definitely go check him out. And if you guys don't mind, drop a like on some of his videos and also hit that subscribe button for him. But without further ado guys, let's go ahead and get into this. So once you guys have gotten to this page, you guys can look up this if you want to. I'm going to show you guys all of this in the showcase, but you guys are going to want to go ahead and scroll down to the very bottom, and there's going to be four different options here. It seems like I can't get this add-on zip to work for some reason, so um, I have to use the zip mirror link, which I suggest you guys do at the same. So you're going to go ahead and click on zip mirror link. Go ahead and click on A to do that. And once you guys have clicked A, it's going to bring you to a Mediafire page. You're going to hover over the download box right here, hit the three lines in the middle of your controller, and go down to copy. Once you guys have hit the pause button, aka the three lines, and hit copy, hit the middle button on your controller, and you're going to want to go ahead and open up File Downloader. If you guys don't remember what File Downloader looks like, it's the one with the silver icon right here. Go ahead and click A on that now. Once you guys have clicked A on that, you're going to go ahead and wait for it to load. Now this may take just a little bit of time to load, but it won't take any more than a couple of seconds. Go to the top left, hit the three lines, and hit on From URL. From here, you're going to go down to the bottom and hit on Local Storage to select that folder. Then you're going to go back to the top and go to Source URL, hit A on that box, hit the pause, hit back, hit the B button to go back off that text box, hit the pause button, and hit on Paste. From there, you're going to go to the far right and hit the down arrow. If you've done everything like I said, you should have something that says items physics beta.zip in here. From there, go down to the bottom and hit on the start button. Let this thing go ahead and download. It shouldn't take more than a couple of seconds. From there, go to the top left, hit the three lines, and go to storage. Once you've clicked on that, click on the local storage folder, and you guys are then going to want to go ahead and go and find that modded folder. Now, here mine is right here. Yours will probably be a little bit closer if you guys have never modded before, but if it has, go ahead and look a bit farther. Go ahead and click A on that item physics beta.zip, and you guys are going to want to go ahead and click on both of these folders here. You're going to click A on both of these squares next to the folder. This is the behavior pack. This is the RP pack. You're going to go to the bottom right and hit the copy icon located here. Once you guys have clicked that, go to the up and select the up button, and you're going to want to go ahead and paste both of those folders you just copied inside of here. To do this, come to the bottom right and hit the clipboard icon located right here. 
Now this shouldn't take more than maybe 15 to 20 seconds to paste. These aren't humongous uh, files, but if they do take a quite, well wait, we'll give it just a couple of seconds to paste both those folders. Five, four, three, two. Okay, so it's not, it's not, it's taking a little bit longer than normal. Um, I will see you guys in just a second when these folders have pasted inside of the directory. Okay guys, of course, my luck, those folders literally pasted like three seconds after I cut. So sadly enough, I'm still gonna have to cut there. So once you guys have done that, you're gonna go ahead and see both of those folders in there, both the item physics beta and the item ph physics beta v1rp. Go ahead and hit the middle button on your controller and you're gonna wanna open up ufo.transfer. ufo.transfer is also known as unified file organizer. You're gonna go ahead and click A to open that up now. Once you guys have opened that up, you're going to go to the top right and click the gear icon. Now, if you don't see this gear icon up here, go and turn off your file border, your border, or your overscan border in your settings that I showed you at the beginning of the video. Go ahead and click on that gear icon and click on open in file explorer. Once you guys have clicked on this, you're going to want to go to the top and select on packages. From here, you're going to go to sort by and make sure you guys have it to the setting name A on top. You guys then should see Megascope's universal file. Go ahead and select on that. From there, go to the local state folder, and you're then going to have both of those folders, item physics v1vp and v1rp. Hover over v1vp, hit the three lines, aka the pause button, and go to copy. From there, go ahead and go back up to the top and select on packages. You're then going to go down until you find your Minecraft UWP console folder. If you don't see this, launch your Minecraft a couple times and then try again. Go ahead and select on that UWP console folder. From there, go to local state and then head to games and then com.mojang. After you guys have done that, go ahead and create two new folders that I'm about to tell you guys to make. You're going to make behavior underscore packs and resource underscore packs. To do this, go to the bottom and select on the folder icon right here. You're going to want to hit X to back all that stuff out and type in behavior underscore packs. Now make sure you guys spell this exactly as I show you, otherwise it will not pop up when you guys go to find it inside of your Minecraft. So go ahead and do behavior underscore packs. Once you guys have done that, hit B and then hit OK. I'm going to hit cancel, you guys don't hit cancel, hit OK. Now once you guys have done that, you're going to do the exact same thing for the resource packs folder. So go make both of those folders now. Once you have both these folders made, click inside of the behaviors packs folder. Go to the bottom right and select on the clipboard icon. Once you guys have selected this, this is going to paste what you guys just copied, which is the item physics beta of v1bp directly inside of there. From here, go back to the top and select on local state. Go to the left and select on packages. From here, go back to the Megascope's universal file folder and go to local state. You guys are then going to go ahead and go down to the uh, item physics beta v1rp folder, hit the pause button and go down to copy. From there, go to the left, go back up to the top and select on packages again, and go back into your Minecraft UWP console folder. From there, go ahead and go into local state, and select on games, then com.mojang, and you're going to go ahead and go into the resource packs folder you made, and paste that directly inside of here. To do this, go to the bottom and select on the clipboard icon right here. This will then paste that folder directly inside of here. Once you guys have done that, go ahead and hit the middle button on your controller and launch open your Minecraft because you guys have basically finished everything, you just have to get the rest of it installed in your game. Go ahead and launch your Minecraft now. Kanida! Okay, anyway, let's, now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and select on play. And once you guys have done that, you're going to want to go ahead and create a new world. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys can do this one on an older world if you guys want. Um, I'm just going to do this on a newer world, newer world for demonstration purposes. But if you want to try it on an older world, let me know in the comment section if it works. So go ahead and hit create new and create a new world. Once you guys have clicked on create a new world, go ahead and go to the right. Go to my world and type in whatever name you want. I'm just going to type in UUP um, for United united physics okay once you guys have whatever you guys want named i'm gonna go ahead and put mono creative you can leave it on survival if you guys choose from there go ahead and scroll down to the world options and you're going to want to go ahead and turn on use experimental gameplay from there go ahead and go to the left scroll down to resource packs and turn on dacon's item physics go ahead and select a on hit the plus button 
Once you guys have done that, go ahead and turn on require players to accept resource packs to join as well. Hit A to turn that on. Then go down to behavior packs and turn on Daycon's item physics on here. Select A and then hit the plus button. Once you guys have done that, go ahead and go up to the top and hit create to join that world. Alright guys, so I went ahead and set some stuff up here uh, to showcase a little bit of the 3D items off. Now this is actually super cool to me. Now there's a couple bugs, but keep in mind guys, this is in beta, as it does say in the uh, title of the video. This is in beta, and Daycon will definitely work on this a little bit more, probably a lot more, because he is a great mod kit trick creator, like I've said multiple times, and he usually always works on his mods and perfects them quite a bit. So let's go ahead and look at some of the stuff. So to start off, we can we can uh, go ahead and place an apple on the ground. Let me go ahead and show you how these physics work. Based off, first off, if you guys have a certain one of the listed items um, that is actually in the beta, and I'll go ahead and read those off for you now. Some of the items that will be 3D, which not all these are listed. There's only some of them listed, are arrows, cactus, lamb, pork socks, pork chops, beef, apples all the leaves all the logs which all the logs is not entirely true um when he says all the logs i tested all the logs and not all of them worked so i think that's a bug um maybe he meant for all the logs to work but not all of the logs work quite a few of them do but not all of them um cobblestone dirt grass sticks leather wool and some other stuff that he forgot to input now the interesting thing about these sticks is they're actually fishing poles laying on the ground so I don't know if that's a bug or he meant to do that but they are definitely okay uh, I did not mean to do that so if all these items are 3d laying on the ground I did not know that that was a thing okay so um, that kind of weirded me out really quick just now because I was sitting here and I crouched and every item that I had there picked up in my inventory didn't mean for that to happen so yeah a lot of these items work okay that's water I did not mean to go in there um, yeah there's leather which like custom skins okay pig get out of here there's some wool and there's some wood and if you guys uh, definitely download this it doesn't take long to download and it's a cool implementation you guys can get into your worlds so I definitely suggest you guys download this so if you guys did go to enjoy today's video it was a super short one and just these short little videos are stuff I like making because they're really short little things you can add to your worlds that just make minecraft 10 times better so if you did go to enjoy guys make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to check out Daycon's channel great mod creator said it about 15 times this video but I'm not gonna lie I am just glad that we have creators like Daycon that make mods for the community so definitely check out his channel and don't forget to check out mine and all of my other content guys it's been your boy materializer jacks I love you guys all peace out